Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture for 2090. So today we want to focus on theme because I think theme is one of the issues where a lot of people still have struggles with figuring out themes, usually for literature, but sometimes for movies as well. So let's take on a theme and, and I think the key issue is thinking about theme as an idea and then thinking about the differences between subject topics and themes. So what is a theme? It's a central concept of narrative story. It can be a moral lesson. It could be a cultural message. It could be a philosophy. Any specific idea. And that's the key issue. Theme is an idea. It's a full idea, right? Concept. Themes can be divided into two categories. So a work's thematic concept is what readers think the work is about, right? the work's purpose, right? What is this purpose? Why does this art exist? Why does this art, why does this artwork exist? What's it's, what is it trying to say, right? The, all these ideas could be thematic concept. It can also be a thematic statement, right? What ideas does the work trying to convey about a specific subject, right? So what, again, think about the racer. What is the racer trying to say about Sports. What is the racer trying to say about greed? What is the racer trying to say about manliness and manhood? Right. All these things could lead us to themes. But some works convey themes directly. Sometimes it's located in narrative lines. Sometimes it's in a dialogue. Other times, and here's where it gets more complicated, it's through the connections. Right. It's stated indirectly. And you have to think about the connections between characters and plots and the conflicts and the settings and so forth. So, you know, a lot of times themes are much more, again, you know, indirect and much more complicated to figure out. Now, crucial, important difference. Themes are not topics and they're not subjects. So what do we mean? Well, subjects are what the author has chosen to write about, right? What the director has chosen to focus on, right? So, for example, the racer is about a driver who starts to feel guilty. Yes, that's the subject, but that's not the theme, right? So, you know, the racer is about a sporting event. Yes, that's the topic. That's not a theme, right? So, subjects are, are what just the, the, again, you know, think about essay writing, right? What's the topic or what's the subject, right? So move past topic and subject, right? Death Race 2000 is about a dystopian society. Yes, that's the subject, right? It's focusing on a dystopian society, but that's not a theme. So that's the key aspect, right? Subjects and topics are overarching you know, um, singular kind of nouns, right? Whereas themes are complex ideas. So again, themes are not topics as well, right? So ambition is not a theme. Love is not a theme. Hate is not a theme. Good versus evil is not a theme, right? Guilt, fear, war, themes are never one word. And that's the kind of key issue too to remember is themes are specific ideas, concepts, about, you know, general topics. So, like, what is Death Race trying to say about terrorism? What is Death Race trying to say about, you know, greed or corruption and so forth? Themes are complete ideas, and that's the key issue. So, to help analyze themes, think about what ideas a work's topics or subjects the author is trying to convey. So, what ideas about greed? What ideas about good and evil, right? That's where you can move on to a specific Theme. So just think about a couple of possible themes, right, for the racer and then death race, right? So one possible theme for the racer is how hypermasculinity can make men competitive and uncaring, right? Another possible theme uh, for the racer is how sports rely on violence, which can be dangerous for society since the race is a metaphor for all sports, right? A possible theme for death, death race can be how some people like to be controlled while others like to fight to be free, right? So these are now specific themes, right? They're not just topics, they're specific ideas, concepts that you have to prove through textual evidence. How do these works convey these themes, right? Now, there's also an important aspect between motif and theme. Some people confuse the two, and especially when they use like one word to describe themes. So in a literary or cinematic work, a motif can be an image, sound, action, another aspect that has symbolic significance contributing toward the development of a theme. So if you're familiar with music, you know, motif, you know, those are the repeating bridges or repeating aspects of music, right, that come up again and again in a piece, right? So they could be the chorus, they could be anything that repeats itself. So 
we, we do the same, and that's where it comes from, the leitmotif, right, of, uh, from music when we apply it to film and cinema. So in a literary amount of work, a motif is typically a recurring image, idea, symbol that develops or establishes the theme, while the theme is the central idea or message. So the motif can lead us to a theme, but it isn't the theme itself. So the perfect example for motif in Death Race 2000 would be the fist. We see it everywhere, right? It's on the flag. People are always you know, doing a fist motion, you know, again, even covering their hearts, right? They're having a fist. You see the fist insignia, you know, and then logo on clothes, the flag, the little podium. So that is a motif, right? And again, what does it symbolize? What does it represent? Well, violence, anger, right? You know, aggression, right? And then, okay, now aggression and anger and violence aren't themes. So then what is the work trying to convey? about violence and aggression and so forth right is it unhelpful is it evil what what are they trying to say about violence so this is where we could build textual evidence visual evidence right with movies and literature in order to establish and figure out what the theme is if all else fails the best thing to do is just what is it trying to teach me right so that is you know if you're still confused about theme or for some reason your brain just isn't wrapping it around right Always ask yourself, what is the author trying to teach me? What is the director trying to teach me? What am I supposed to learn from watching this movie, right? You know, again, it's while themes are not always a moral lesson, there's usually some kind of message that is being conveyed. So thinking about what an author or what a director is trying to teach you will always lead you to some kind of theme, right? And again, all you need is textual evidence after that. Themes typically involve some statement about the human condition or society in general or societies in general, right? So oftentimes themes are going to say something about gender, sexuality, religion, politics, right? Society, right? Norms, traditions, you know. So that's another way to kind of think about it. Themes are usually trying to either reinforce cultural messages or subvert cultural messages. So, and again, it's always about a statement, about an idea that the work is conveying. So if all this fails, just ask yourself, what am I supposed to learn after watching this movie? What am I supposed to think about after watching this movie? And that will lead you to, again, think about themes and so forth. Obviously, if you have questions, you can always email or post to the discussion forum. If not, just good luck with all the other assignments.